Well, we're at uh, 14,115 feet right now at the very, very top of uh, Pikes Peak. Uh, this year, Zoila and I took our took a car up uh, and did the highway rather than ride the train like we've done in the past. So, anyway, I think I'll do a little uh, quick video picture of the train departing. Uh, it uh, does about a 20% grade. This is the Pikes Peak Cock. Pikes Peak cog rail. There I'll get it pretty quick. High altitude makes me stutter a little. And there's a drive wheel in the center. You see this has three tracks. That center wheel is like a gear on the train and that's what actually drives it and keeps traction. By itself those rails would not hold the traction at uh, this steep of a grade there. So. Anyway, I think they're about ready to leave. Let's see. Okay, I think she's about ready to move here. Got some last minute folks crossing the track. So, just heard the bells ring. Gotta say, it's a uh, a little bit cloudy, about uh, 47 degrees up here right now. Uh, driving up a uh, rental car is a brand new Nissan Altima, but uh, that thing was uh, boiling in the radiator coming up. Didn't overheat, thank goodness, but uh, got up the top there and raised the hood and uh, everything was recycling. Pretty interesting. Let's see if he's going to move yet or not. Yeah, I think they're giving all their passenger instructions now, so it should be taken off here in just a moment here, we hope. I think that's a prime indicator. We shall see. Get back a little bit, so don't make the engineer nervous. Getting too close to the track. I wonder if he thinks I'm holding up a radar gun to check his speed. I don't think he'll break any speed records today, that's for sure. Maybe he'll even wave at me going by, we'll see. There we go. going down like a roller coaster except not quite as fast but look at her go right down the side of the mountain okay well I think I'm gonna go inside and have a cup of coffee and a Pikes Peak donut they talk about at uh, 14,115 feet that's it for today's adventures uh, see y'all later bye bye